accreditation took place in Jordan. And the moment he was accredited, the Bible revealed that the Holy Spirit drove him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. It was when he came into the wilderness. I hope you know the subject matter. The subject matter is his sonship because the father had already proclaimed him son. So when he came into the wilderness and he came before the tester came, he came before Satan came and began to fast and pray. He didn't come to the wilderness to fast and pray. He came there to be tempted. But he arrived the testing ground before the, te the, the tester and he subjected himself to fasting and prayer. What's the meaning of that? You are not with me. Fasting was a strategy adopted so that it would be difficult for the environment to affect him. It was an attempt to starve the flesh. If you find a woman that talks too much in the night, she's describing people's head, that their head is like, like this. Put her on three days dry fasting. On the fourth day, go there with someone big head. She will lack vocabulary. She will lack utterance. May the Lord give you understanding. So fasting was a strategy to ensure that his flesh was wicked. So there will be nothing in the flesh that will be exploited by the visitation of the devil. When the devil comes, he exploits your appetites. He exploits your inclinations. He exploits every desire of the flesh. And unfortunately, you feed flesh when you eat too much. So when you start flesh, he cries and he becomes quiet. So Jesus, wanting to meet with a spirit, because the tempter here is not a human being, he's a spirit being. He advised himself that the way in the, of, out of this matter is to fast. So fasting makes it difficult for the environment to influence you. And prayer makes it easy for you to influence the environment. So the strategy was fasting and what? Prayer. 